Hey, so you may or may not have noticed that um, Linktree crashed the other day and totally screwed up the Instagram world. So there's a little bit of lack of trust there and um, now everybody's looking for another solution. So I've got a tutorial video for you today that is going to walk you through a free, simple way that you can do this yourself and that will actually be on brand and that will take people to your website and get them clicking on your site. Now, um, someone I saw recently did this and it was amazing. I just was like, wow, this is so great. She could add in other links, which was, it, it blew my mind really. And it was kind of like, why haven't we done this before? Okay, so to get started, we'll close off Linktree site. What we're gonna use is a drag and drop Beaver Builder um, plugin. Awesome thing is Beaver Builder has a free plugin. So I'm going to show you how you can use the free plugin to create this for your site. So again, free. Um, you might need to put in a bit of CSS coding or something and I will give you all those templates and those will all be down below. Okay, so Beaver Builder, that's it there. You can have a check out of the pricing of Beaver Builder and it's about $99 a month or $199 if you want the theme included. It's what I use for all my websites. Okay, so just checking here, Beaver Builder, and that's what the plugin is. And of course, there is a free one. So I've set up a little test site. There is absolutely nothing on it, but I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself. So what we're basically going to do is create an Instagram landing page. So we're going to first create this landing page. Okay, so we're adding in a new page and it's going to be the Instagram landing page. And we're just going to publish that page. Simple, that's all we're gonna do for now. And that's basically the link that we are going to use on our um, Instagram bio you can of course change the name of this link and and this URL so what we're going to do is use the free beaver builder plugin so we're going to hit plugins click add new once we're here we're going to go to search plugins and we're going to type in beaver builder press enter and that will pop up and we're going to install the free plugin there we go let's install that and we're going to activate that plugin. So as you can see, Beaver Builder has some add-ons and they have the light versions as well. Okay, so that's been installed. We're going to activate that and then we're going to use it on our Instagram landing page. So let's pop on over to our pages again. Let's have a look and go to our Instagram landing page and we're going to click on Beaver Builder. Now, if you've never used Beaver Builder before, where have you been? Because it's absolutely phenomenal and super easy for people to go in and update themselves. So let's go first and check out what Beaver Builder offers and kind of how it works. You can walk yourself through a little tour, but I'm going to say no thanks for now. Okay, so now this also depends on your um, theme, how Beaver Builder is actually going to look. So I'm not really going to go into that. This is the theme I'm using, which is the standard um, um, WordPress theme that comes with all your um, WordPress installs. Okay, so this is your Beaver Builder um, workspace. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on the plus icon up here at the top. And you're going to add in your text editor and then I have actually made some coding that you're going to put in and you're going to put it in the text section not in the visual section so click on text and you can get all this coding down below and basically what we're doing here is we we're creating some buttons so there's button one button two button three um, if you want more obviously you're just going to copy these sections enter and paste them in so now we've got three buttons and basically these buttons are not going anywhere so let's say for example we actually want them to go somewhere we can just highlight the section and click on this link section and I can put in wherever they're going to go sample page on my site then it's going to go to the hello world and let's just make this one also go to something similar sample page 
Okay, so now we've got that and that really does not look nice. It doesn't look anything. So what we're now going to put in is a bit of CSS to make it look like a button. So we're going to go to Layout, CSS. And again, I have done this for you and you can copy this. And what you want to do is you want to edit this um, for you know, to for your branding. So put in the background color that's for your branding. Um, you can change the spacing and the sizing. You can change the color. Okay. And then I'm going to add in a bit more CSS to this. Uh, I don't quite like it when there's a line underneath. Okay. Uh, let's just actually check that out. There we go. Okay, so now we put that in and we're quite happy with everything. Of course, you can play around with the CSS if you know a bit of CSS and change what your buttons are going to look like. But basically, I'm pretty happy with it. So I can click on done, click publish. And now this page is live. And if I click on any of these buttons, they're going to go somewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to head on over to my Instagram account and I'm going to pop this link in the bio. Now you can use a bit.ly link or something like that, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we've logged into our Instagram account. We're going to just click on edit our profile. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this link, copy that, pop it in here, click paste, click submit. Okay, and your profile has been saved. Let's have a look at our profile. And there it is there. And when someone clicks on it on their phone is basically going to go here to these buttons and then they can click to wherever they want. OK, so one thing I want to show you before we carry on and I finish up this video is that Instagram account that I saw that was just amazing and blew me away. So I'm just going to show you it is Viva La Violet. It was amazing. So let's find her. Instagram look link and hers is basically just dot com forward slash Instagram and when you click on it it actually goes to a beautiful page that has a bit more than just the buttons and um, her link so if you scroll down there's also a bit of frequently asked questions and then some love letters etc but I do love this section here and I love the buttons and how it's all on brand.